Hey eBay sellers, it's Suzanne A. Wells, and welcome back to another Money Making Monday $100 Super Size Sales video. The sales in this video come from my Facebook group. Every Monday we have a thread where sellers can post what they found, where they found it, how much they paid for it, and show us the actual sold item. This helps everybody learn what to look for when you're out there picking. The thread usually gets up to about 500 comments every week. So that is a lot of material. There was some bad information out there about we close the thread at 500 comments. That is not the case. We close it at the end of the week because it's time to start another one for the next week. So it can go on to infinity for all we know. Thanks to everybody who participates in Money Making Monday because everybody can learn from each other. Our opportunities as a picker are endless and the profit margins are incredible. You can find things for a dollar sometimes and sell them for a hundred. And this is the proof. Okay, so let's take a look at the sales for last month and see how everybody did. Our honorable mentions, we've got Mary Bond Martin purchased at the Goodwill Outlet bins for 37 cents sold in two hours for full asking price. And this is our cover image this month. Wizard of Oz Vintage Original Whataburger Double-Sided Signs, 50th Anniversary. And these sold for $99.99. So didn't quite make it to 100, but still worth mentioning and recognizing Mary for this great sale. Next up is Joyce Wilson. She said, my daughter purchased this and several other sets for $5 each at a garage sale when we were in Dallas a few years back. Listed and sold within one to two months. I better get the others listed soon. This is Settlers of Catan Cities and Knights Game with Expansion Pack. So it's a game. $99. And she purchased these for $5 each. And there she is smacking her head for not listing these sooner. Now we have Faith Enriquez, a dollar at a yard sale, sold today for full asking price of $100, well, $99.99 if you want to be picky about it. <laughs> Took about three weeks. And this is one of those vintage ceramic Christmas trees, Atlantic mold, 16-inch lighted with extra lights, 1970. These are a great bolo, but they are tricky to ship. But don't be afraid of that because she got this for a dollar and sold it for just under a hundred. Now we have Janae Brookins, paid $5 at a flea market. This is the seventh one of these I've sold in the last two months. Esoterica Fade Cream Nighttime Moisturizer. She sold this for $100, and this is a discontinued item. Cecilia Sullivan sold this one today. I had it listed at $125 on three sites and took best offer of $100 on eBay. Took about two months, and I got it in a $40 pile at an estate sale. My average cost per item is $4. This is a shaggy raffia straw hat. $4, sold it for 100 Becky Fife bought at Goodwill Bins for little to nothing, had a cart full of stuff, and it cost by the pound. Sold from an offer sent out within a couple of months of purchase. Rare vintage case times four, meaning there's four in there, knife set with mahogany wall rack. So a knife set. $100 for a knife set. Excellent. Jamie Lynn Galloway paid $6 at Goodwill. Sold in nine months for best offer of $100 plus shipping. This is a pair of boots. Georgia Boots Comfort Core Gore-Tex Brown Leather Waterproof. $6 sold for $100. Cindy Minders Found at a thrift store for $3. Sold the next day for full asking. Ugh, and I had one of these years ago, but now we know to look for this. You can't kick yourself for getting rid of stuff that got old or you didn't use. 
This is a Black & Decker Space Maker Toaster Oven Broiler. $105 and she paid $3 for it and it sold for full price in one day. Casey Vetterly, our resident ski instructor and junk seller and Lego expert. <laughs> $1 sold for $108 sold in one week after sending 10% offer to watchers, meaning 10% off. This is Pokemon Heart Gold version. It's a video game. Nintendo DS. Paid a dollar and sold it for $107.95 in a week. Rini Radmanik. Sorry if I butchered that name. And you guys have told me that you like to hear your names in these videos, so I'm going to attempt the last names, even if it looks like I might butcher it. Just correct me. I'm sorry if I get it wrong, but I want to give you recognition. Anyway, she said, I was several hours late getting to a church sale and found this for $6 even after all the other local eBay pickers scavenged through everything. Sold for $110 plus shipping. I managed to find a few more items as well that go for over $40 each. Goes to show you can never stop learning what sells. And let me blow this up because it's a little bit hard to read. This is an Aristocraft Victorian train station kit. And again, she paid $6 for this after all the other pickers had been there and sold it for $110 plus shipping. So this is a perfect example of why you have to keep a positive mindset you can't think, oh, everyone's already been here and picked over it. There's nothing left because that's not always true. Next up is Sue Yael Bergman. I hope I got that name right. Got this at a state sale for $10, sold seven of the same brand. This is the last one. Took six months. Next up is Brian Rappaport. Paid $15 at a thrift store. Sold for $119.99 plus shipping in a few weeks. This is a Coleman Golf Cat catalytic heater. Looks like a little heater for your golf cart. May Erda paid $8 at the thrift store, received $50 offer the next day, but held off for a better offer. Comps showed higher than that. Sold three days later for $120. The item is Thursday Boot Company Everyday Handmade Brown Lace Up Leather Boots. And I commend you on waiting for that better price. It is hard to discipline yourself when <laughs> you put something out there and you start getting offers right away. But if you do your research and be confident in your pricing, you can get those higher prices. And this is the perfect example. Mona Nichols paid $3.19 at Goodwill sold in a matter of minutes. I think I underpriced it. Men's Arcteryx jacket sold for $125. And I just want to remind you guys, don't beat yourself up when this happens because buyers set up alerts or I think they call them saved searches now. So when you're waiting for something to be posted that you want, when you're looking for a very specific item, you can save these searches and be notified when an item with the same keywords is listed on eBay. You get a notification and you can buy it immediately. So unless you ask the customer, you're never going to know this, but some sellers just revert to, oh, I underpriced it because it sold so fast. And that may not be the case. The perfect buyer was notified when you listed it and they've been waiting for it and they bought it at your asking price. So $3.19 turned into $125 in a matter of minutes. I don't think I could complain about that. Congratulations, Amona. That is a great sale. Now we've got Rosalba Vasquez paid $30 RA. She means retail arbitrage sold in two months. If you aren't familiar with that term, Retail arbitrage is when you buy things from retail stores 
and then you sell them on eBay. And it's usually markdowns, clearance, discontinued items where they're not performing well in the stores or the stores have to make more floor space for other inventory and they mark these things down to get rid of them. And then you can flip them on eBay. So she paid $30 for this and it sold for $125. And the item is, this is a two piece dress sold for $125. And again, she paid $30 for it. On to Don McMaster. This was another thing I found in the storage unit. So paid pennies sold within two hours of listing. This is a Viper alarm. So some kind of alarm system and it was buried in the storage unit. So another example of get that stuff listed, it could sell right away. Jane Rezos bought at an estate sale for $4.20, sold in one day for $135 plus shipping. Guess I could have priced higher. Well, maybe, maybe not, but that's a pretty good return for only being out there for one day. This is a vintage Buco motorcycle helmet, half police, blue with visor. So motorcycle helmet, $4.20, sold for $135 plus shipping. Beverly Butera, paid $6 at a thrift store about a month ago, sold for full price. This is a Nikon magnetic therapy blanket, $6, $139. We're seeing all kinds of linens selling for really high prices. So if that's a section of the thrift store you're not looking at, maybe it's time to investigate. Eileen Cole, the book lady, paid $4.75 for this complete series of 19 books at my county's Historical Society book sale. These books are popular because Netflix has made a series out of it. Sold for full price of $149.95 with free shipping, sold in one week. And these are Virgin River Series paperback, 20 novels. And I have seen that program advertised on Netflix, so now I'm going to have to check it out. <laughs> Savannah Boone bought this at a yard sale for $25. It sold on best offer for $150 in two months. Marvin Richards Fox Fur Coat, $25, sold for $150. Alona Fuentes, mom found this gem at an estate sale, paid $10. It was in its original packaging and box, sold within two days of list for best offer, received two offers of $125 and $150, sold for best offer of $150. The item is... Vintage 97 Maruri Santa's World Travels. So a decorative collectible. $10 sold for $150. Marie Hamilton. $20 at an estate sale sold in two weeks for $150. The item is a Nike silver and black golf bag. Next up is Connie Blommer. Paid a lot for this one, $60, at a local estate sale. Took a best offer of $150, and it sold in one day. It is a beautiful, rare, antique, national cash register, glass, metal receipt, ticket box. That is really gorgeous. $60, sold for $150 in one day. Jenny Baum. Paid $4 at a yard sale, sold in four and a half months. This is a 100% cashmere coat and it sold for $150. Alejandro Vega, Walmart clearance marked down to $9 each, bought all five, sold in about one and a half months for, so $151 sale price, $12 to ship. Great everyday consumable, and paid for my Walmart trip that day. The item is baby formula, Infamil NeuroPro Sensitive Tummies, and he's got the expiration date on there of August of 2021. Excellent. Remember, you cannot sell expired food on eBay. 
Nothing that goes in or on the human body can be sold if it is expired. So remember to check that when you are purchasing these items to flip. Okay, Tanya Gibson. This is my 12-year-old's biggest sale. He picked up several pairs of sneakers free from a curb alert. He is a sneaker head who knows which ones have value. He cleaned them up, photographed them, and listed them himself at $189.99. Sent offer to watchers the same day as he listed them, and they sold the next day for $170. He said the hard part of selling is listing, to which I said, no one likes that part. That's why it's called work and why I won't do the listing for him. So the item is a pair of Air Jordan Concord sneakers sold for $170. Next up is Julie Brownfield, who always has great items. Paid maybe $5 and sold for $175 in one day. Gorgeous made in France tablecloth and napkins. Here's a closer look. You can see how pretty those are. This is a tablecloth and 10 napkins. And again, another item that could be in the linen section. So if you're not looking there, you might want to venture over and check it out because there are some high dollar items hiding in there. Lynn Merritt took a risk and paid $68 for this signed vase. I really liked it. Had it at Buy It Now for $225, took a best offer of $180. Here is a better photo of that. Isn't that gorgeous with the swirl and the metallic? That is just so pretty, and that would look great in my home. <laughs> this is a Robert Eicholt 2003 signed art glass multicolor swirl glass vase, and she paid $68 for it, sold it for $180. So tripled her investment. Now we have Rachel Hilst paid $50 for the Singing River Pottery Crab on Facebook Marketplace. It sold for $200 in less than a week. This is a Josie Gautier Singing River Original Blue Crab Pottery. $50 sold for $200. So you kind of have to be brave and ease into paying more money for some of these better items because as you can see the profit is there but you have to get past your own fear of paying too much for something. So I always go back to can I sell this for what I bought it for and if the answer is yes then there's really no risk. You buy it, you try it, Give it a few months, see what happens, and you can always sell it for what you paid for it. So don't be afraid if it is a high quality, expensive item to pay a little bit more for it because sometimes you're just not going to get things for a dollar. You have to pay a little bit more. Heather Champion bought at a yard sale for $15, listed for $2.99, sold within a few hours after sending an offer and then accepting a counter offer for $240. So $15 sold for $240. This is a Magnavox VHS player with four heads. It was new in the box. Wow, $15 sold for $240. And we have our third place winner, Chris Hahn, paid $50 on Facebook Marketplace for this Chevy tailgate with a few small dents. Took about two months to sell for $225 plus calculated shipping. And again, this is a Chevy tailgate. Second place is Amy Decker. Free to me from my mom's friend. I thought maybe I would get $40. Whoa. Praying the post office doesn't lose the package. This is a huge lot of 1950s dresses, skirts, uh, so basically, vintage clothing. She got it free, and it sold for $255. So <laughs> if your friends are downsizing, take a look at what they're throwing away, because this could happen to you. And our first place winner in this video is Lori Page Rep. Bought at a moving sale for $2, sold in an hour for full price of $300. And the item is Retired L'Artisan perfume. 
new in the box, retired scent, $300. And she paid $2 at a moving sale and sold in an hour for $300. Wow, congratulations, that is just amazing. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to comment below and I will see you next time. Have a profitable and productive day on eBay. Bye.